as you're walking up a ladder sometimes you walk up a little go back down a couple steps and then walk up a few more steps go the whole way down Hey guys, it's Shane Spiel. Did you ever sit there with your cigar box guitar and allow it just to sing? Did you ever sit there and just mess with it and without trying to play any song in particular without like trying to grind out or anything like that have you ever just taken your slide and just placed it on one string in one area and allowed it, the guitar to surprise you i'm going to do a little bit of that today but it's going to make you appreciate your cigar box guitar even more so you're going to need a a three string cigar box guitar this is one of my Shane Spiel Macanudos currently on sale over at stubbyslide.com uh, you definitely need a stubby slide this is the king slide from stubbyslide.com it's just wide enough to cover all three strings it sits at the top of your finger and allows you to bend your finger to get individual notes on the fretboard so what I started out this video with was just a G major rundown starting at the 12th fret. And I want G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. And how do I know the notes? Well, I still got the sticker on there from my one lesson about how to do chords on the side. But either way, it's a uh, 12th fret, 11, 9, 7, 5, 4, 2, open. So you have just the G major scale. Just remember this is a the slide is always on top of the fret I say this every lesson but it's always on top of the fret whenever you play with the slide you don't go in the middle of the fret like your fretted instruments where you're pushing down this slide rides right on top and it doesn't have to mash the strings down it just needs to touch okay so we got the G major such a simple simple um, scale but here's where the cigar box guitar surprises you because this is in an open G if you start strumming all the strings while using your stubby slide to only fret the low string I am only fretting the low string I am letting the two other strings ring out The stubby slide is only hitting the low string. That's why I need a stubby slide, is so you can bend your finger over and just touch one string at a time. Let's listen to this G major scale. There's so much beauty in there, especially at the fifth fret. And just to have the low note kind of like the moving bass line. Um, it just meshes beautifully with the other two strings. With the G major scale on one string.
memorize that and then just start strumming your guitar as you're playing the low string sliding it and allowing the other strings to ring out I'm just improvising. And all I'm doing is just playing that. The only thing I'm playing is that G major scale up and down in different patterns. Up, you know, kind of like as you're walking up a ladder, sometimes you walk up a little, go back down a couple steps, and then walk up a few more steps, go the whole way down. Think of it that way. Think of it as a ladder. showing the picking hand too much in this lesson um, although I put it in a little box to the side here uh, this picking hand is not where I want to go with this lesson this is for those of you that are kind of used to strumming forth and keeping that strum going straight if you're having trouble with the picking hand go back to the basic picking hand lessons that I have here on YouTube and those will help you get used to the rhythm once you're used to the rhythm with this hand, then you can just allow this hand to caress the strings in any combination and then let that slide work on that low string on that one scale. many options um, but this is the building blocks for it I guess uh, so have fun with that learn that that G major scale up and down the fretboard from the nut to the 12th fret is all you need uh, if you get past the 12th fret it starts to sound wonky <laughs> see what I'm saying uh, but between the 12th fret and the nut there's so much beauty there on the low string. There you go. There's something fun to play in the living room late at night when you just need to chill out. Uh, it's almost like ambient music. Uh, there you go. My name's Shane Spiel. Stubbyslide.com for the guitar. For the slide, if you want to support the channel, this is the number one seller shirt over at CigarBoxGuitar.info. Uh, in fact, some of those shirts in the YouTube description you see them below there. This is the most popular shirt. He was on the cover of my last album. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and give a thumbs up to this video too. Thanks for watching. More coming soon. <laughs>